Hi Reconcilers, Reverend Reagan here. It is Wednesday and this week marks the first week of school for many of you, uh, for your children or for you as an educator. And so I am appropriately sitting out on our playground um, as I think about all of you going back into places of learning this week, keeping you all in prayer. Um, this week uh, marked my daughter Cora's first day of school was on Monday and then today is James's first day of school. And I took Cora's first day of school picture on Monday, and then today I took one with both of them together. And James was very uh, peppy and happy, energetic, and by today, Cora's third day, she was not having it. She did not look very happy. And it reminded me that I think the first day of school, first day of anything, is very exciting and lovely, and uh, we're energetic and really just kind of ready to go, even if we're nervous. But it's really that third day that's really hard right it's the last day of school um, for the first week that can be so full of strife and tension and nerves can be bigger than they were before if things aren't going so well um, we're exhausted from a new schedule and so I'm thinking about all of you on not necessarily the first day of school but certainly by the third or fifth day of school this week I hope that uh, you continue to feel refreshed by God and by this community as you move forward in the days ahead I would love to share with you a prayer that has to do with community, uh, and I think it fits reconciliation really well. Uh, reminds me of the love that y'all have for one another, uh, and it's, it's just lovely. So this is from Prayers Plainly Spoken by Stanley Hauerwas, who is a professor of ethics at Duke University. All praise to you, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who spirits your church into being, making us members of one another. It is a great mystery that we are your body, but we praise you for it, for otherwise we would be so alone, condemned to live alone, to die alone. But you have given us one another in all shapes and sizes. We do not fit together all that well, but we pray that the puzzles of our lives may please you and entertain you, so that in the end we add up to be your kingdom. Help us to live with the confidence of that kingdom in the light of your son's resurrection so that when all is said and done, this may be said. They were a strange lot, but look how they loved one another. Amen. Thinking about you this week, I hope to see you on Sunday for services at 8 or 1030. In our Women in the Bible class, we're talking about Eve, and so that should be a great conversation, uh, but hope to see you around soon. Take care.